Hello and welcome back to Secret Vapes, the channel that aims to bring you the views and experiences of the products on the market today, brought to you by an average vapor. Now this week I've got something very, very special to bring to you, something that really surprised me. I picked it up just out of interest and it's just blown me away. It's this, the Inokin Proton, world's first mod of its kind. Now, Inokin have been around for as long as I've been vaping. I've known more for lower powered devices, mouth to lung devices, that sort of thing. So this is a new direction that they've taken to come into the high power market. And if this is the quality they're going to bring, then believe me, they're going to be a real player in the next 12 months. It's just an, it's an absolute fantastic device. But before we get into it, let's give her a vape. Currently using a Falcon tank with it. I like the fact that it's matching black. Now, we're going to the details of the mod first. As you can see, it's a dual 18650 battery. Has a bottom, nice easy hinge door with blackened indicators, plus and minus gold plated. It's a little bit fiddly to get closed. Right. So it comes with a side fire bar. comes with a sort of etched design on the back, matching bar on the other side for a bit of the ergonomic of it. Now it's an off-center 510 spring-loaded pin. However, if you actually look at the space on the top, I mean there's, the mods are actually really small, but there's plenty of room for something you know, as far as 30 millimeter on this and it'll fit. It just looks a bit odd and off centre. Now, the way this mod comes into a world first is that it's controlled by a joystick. There's no navigation buttons at all. It's just a joystick controlled mod. And it works well. <laughs> Basically, these are some of the options that you get. If you hold the button in a certain direction, that you can change your wattage so there's no accidental changes there if you want to get into the menu three clicks of the joystick takes you into it and now this is where the device really comes to life you have coil which lets you pick i mean if you're changing tank you can just pick same you have wattage you have stainless steel titanium and nickel I'll just show you. It calculates. So it will take you to the temperature that it's calculating your coil at. Obviously this is not a temperature control coil. But next option. TCR. Let you change the coefficient resistance to what you want. Next option. Now this is where it starts to get a bit special, it has a curve option. Now I won't go into all of it now, but basically you can pick the curve of your power. Now if you don't know what curve is, it's something I've not seen on a mod in this range before. It's normally something a lot higher. Basically, it lets you adjust the power as you vape. So for argument's sake, if you wanted to start at 90 watts, and finish after five seconds at 60 watts, you can set it to do that. You know, it's really, really intelligent. The chipset is really fast. I mean, I've just turned that off. If you look how quickly it goes on, and you're on, you're ready to vape. Now, back to the menu, you have bypass, which lets you then turn bypass mode on obviously tells you maximum battery wattage and then in the settings you have vape cutoff time screen degrees or fahrenheit whatever you want to see it as color obviously you have you can change the color of the screen puff count i mean i'm on over a thousand puffs with this and then firmware 
but you can then choose to upgrade the firmware when it's available so pros and cons pros about this first of all the chipset it's absolutely fantastic it's really responsive it's really accurate compared to a lot of other devices on the market you know this absolutely outperforms them in most cases i mean the, the fact that there's so many options in there you know the battery life battery life about day day and a half pretty standard but it's the options it's when it comes to like temperature control and you know the curve options you know you don't see them that's absolutely amazing you know another pro for me is the joystick control when it works <laughs> The fact that it, it's easy, easy to use, you know, it's the fact that there's little commands that you do. I mean, me doing that does nothing. So if it's in your pocket, it's not going to do anything. Um, I'd say it's and the fact that you can control things like the curve option on it using this, it's a lot easier than if you had buttons. I think that's again a major bonus of them coming to, the, to that. Another pro for me is the size, you know. It's hard to gauge on a video, but that is quite small. I mean, you think about things like the Smock Alien, you know, that sort of small palm size device. You know, that's a, it, I, I thought it'd be a lot bigger if I'm being honest when I bought it, but yeah, it's a really, really good device. Um, in terms of, well, yeah, they. Sorry, just lost the train of thought then. <laughs> you know, that's going to be a pro on the top. The fact that you can fit a bigger atomizer. Um, it's more... It's maybe going to push that side more than that side. So again, that's going to be a bit of a con, that top part. But yeah, overall, I mean, another con for me is that screen protector that you get in the box. I mean, look at that. It's still on. Normally it's gone after a day <laughs> for anything else. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, it's got a fair bit of weight to it as well on, on the device so that's that's a pro for anyone who does like something with a bit of weight to it um it looks really nice another pro for me it the fact that it's nice and clear screen you know it's nice and bright especially in daylight you can still see it really well and yeah it, i find it very hard to review products like this when Essentially, the biggest selling point is just how well it works with the chipset. It, you know, it's just absolutely fantastic. Now, onto the cons of the device that I found. I mean, that's a con for me, that the fact that it's off-center. I think it would have looked a little bit better if it was centralized. But, you know, if you prefer that, then it's going to be a pro for you. Another con for me... It's a bit hypocritical, but the joystick, the joystick can be a little bit unresponsive at times. You know, not always, but sometimes it doesn't seem to register. Say, like, going up instead of down. You know, it's, it's fine because you can just press down and go the other way, but I, I have noticed that. There's no lock device function. Um, you know, it's literally turned on and off. So, again, maybe a pro for you. I prefer to lock a device. You know, didn't all you can be able to do is turn it on and off um, and that's it in terms of cons you know it, it is an absolutely incredible device and it's something that to be honest if I wasn't shopping around and just trying to look for things that caught me interest I probably would never have even heard of this but that's an absolute crime that this is more well known because when you've got things like the drag and the nova getting a lot of attention you know something like this just works just as well as them in fact i'd say in terms of everything but battery power this outmatches them it really does just how accurate it is how responsive it is it's just an incredible device now what i'd like to see and i can do with this joystick idea is maybe bring out a big, bigger design, you know, a slightly bigger mod with a bigger joystick. I think if they brought out the biggest joystick, it'd be easier to control. And then maybe a few of the unresponsive issues that you do find, or you know, if your thumb slips off the stick, you're not going to get that. 
so there's a lot still a lot of potential here to make this even better especially going forward with the chips you know you can only improve on it I'd recommend this to anyone honestly I'd recommend this device to anybody who wants something that's small fits in your hand something that just performs brilliantly it, it really is especially it's a no frills device unless you call the joystick a frill it's a no frill device you know no flashing lights no gimmick beyond the joystick just works really well no matter what tank I've put on it just really responsive I mean it's how fast it fires turned it off <laughs> but you get what I mean but yeah that was the Anakin Proton as always thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video but, you know, please give the video a like please comment your thoughts down below as always I'll always engage with you next up I'm going to be looking at bringing a couple of devices to you um, the first one is going to be something a little bit different than what I've ever reviewed before it's the Joytech Runabout the pod, their new pod system device it, it's a really interesting thing I mean I've been using it now for certainly the last few days so I'll have another week's worth of use out of it by the time the video comes and so far I really like it really interesting design as well and also coming up I'm going to be bringing the, another pod system to you the Hava One device again very interesting very well you it, it's better it's better than the Firefly I will give it that but anyway thank you for watching and as always stay safe keep vaping